Hello Scorpio, welcome to my channel, welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys, hope you guys are doing well. So this is your general, general love reading for August. Uh, feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading guys, it is time stamped. So if you click in the uh, description, description bar below, you'll see where it says start reading. That will bring you to the uh, start of the reading. This section is really for those that just kind of prefer to see me shuffle on camera. So we're going to take a look and see who's showing up uh, in your reading, see what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself. And of course, vice versa as well. Okay, so give me a moment to just take these in. I might also clarify them as well, um, but I'll be back. All right, so Scorpio, let's start your reading. And of course, take whatever side resonates with, with you guys and picking up as uh, this being your side, the person that you're dealing with over here, but you can always, you can always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. All right, so, okay, so at, currently it's like you're showing up as the hermit, um, Scorpio. So it seems like you're very much in isolation, um, maybe not socializing, maybe not going out as much, or that could be simply you being around other people, but you just being, um, is that even a word, insulated? Uh, you just being internal, uh, very much in your own world, um, being in a room where there's a plethora of people, but you're still kind of very much inward facing. That's simply because, you know, things are weighing heavy on you with that, with that 10 of wands there. Things are weighing heavy. There's a bit of a burden around this when it comes to you and this person, because you know, for you, you've put work in, or there's some form of work that you've, you've that you've put in on this uh, with the seven, um, but it's not turned into much or anything. That's what when we're talking about the seven, we're talking about you know putting work in, but it's not manifested into much of anything, or or what we would hope it would have um, turned into just yet as well. Uh, yeah, so that for you, there's a, a burden around that. We will address that three of cups in a minute but for your person your person has shown up as a five so they're a bit i'm gonna use the word standoffish a bit standoffish with you uh, as much as they are thinking about we've got the ace of wands there as much as they are thinking about you know a possible opportunity to create something new there is still disappointment there we've got that ace that three of three of um uh, swords here which talks about, you know, just hurt, being hurt by the situation and wanting to move forward, you know, having the feeling of just kind of moving forward, moving on, uh, wanting to create a change, wanting to go through uh, a change, even if it's a small change, a change nevertheless when it comes to this um, and them kind of moving on. Because for them, it seems like we got the tower here. For them, it seems like this is something that they feel they've had to maybe let go of. That tower card, you know, when we're talking about the tower card, we're talking about something that's come crashing down or shock or something out of the blues happened that's just kind of shook something at its core or shaken things up a bit. Um, the, yeah, it feels like this person has had to, or feels they like they have to let this, let this go or let it kind of crumble. Um, I guess that's kind of a metaphor for how they're feeling. And to, to in order for them to, yeah, become more aligned with, um, we've got the temperance there, uh, something that fits, it seems. I feel like this is, and that's where this, this five is coming from, this standoffish type of energy that they have towards you is coming from that place of them just not being happy with how things have, have turned out or turning out, if that makes sense. Uh, and that's because it seems like in the past for you, Scorpio, we've got that eight of swords there. So we're talking about being trapped up in your head constantly in your thoughts, thinking, being trapped by your thoughts even, but holding back as well, not expressing it with that thought, not sharing it, holding it back, feeling like this person, you know, a person that is highly attractive, um, driven, ambition, ambitious, when we're talking about the Queen of Wands, we're talking about someone who's very ambitious, driven, 
uh, admired, uh, got a lot of heart. Uh, but there is, there was this, the two there, this decision, it's like this choice, should I, shouldn't I, should I, shouldn't I, it's that, it's that type of thing, with that two of pentacles there. As much as, because look, we do have that high priestess, as much as you feel like there is some, um, when we're talking about the high priestess, we're talking about a higher awareness, a, a connection to the, uh, you know, spirit guides or the uh, divine is that type of thing. Sometimes that also represents soulmate, deep spiritual connection, twin flame, that type of thing. As much as you felt that or feel that with this person, there was still this holding back uh, where, where with your person then being or having that king of wands state of mind. That king of wands talks about, you know, when we're talking about the, the, the king of wands, it matches the queen of wands, very driven, ambitious, um, focus, uh, a lot of drive, ready ultimately. So it seems like this person was ready uh, in the past, but we have that hangman being stopped or not able to move. You know, feeling a lot of chemistry, similarities there with the lover's card there. Could be very different, but yet the same in some way. But we do have that karma card, which is quite interesting. And I feel like that ties to the judgment card there that they've got there. There was a bit of judgment there as well. And it's due to them, you know, again, it's this not moving forward, not moving forward. We've got the Ten of uh, Swords there, you know, this having to end this, having to end this, yeah. Still, but while still having a lot of passion, a lot of desire, um, with the awareness or recognition that on some level you've brought, how do I put that? On some level you've had some form of positive impact or, um, yeah, positive impact or, or brighten up the world in some way or touch them in some way with the queen, sorry, with the sun card there. So that's what's kind of brought it to where it is at the moment. You know, for you, it's like, I feel like for some of you, there's, conf there's confusion there. And that's coming from maybe you thinking with that three, you thinking that they're maybe entertaining someone or they've already met someone or they're in a relationship. There's a three of cups there. There's a third energy there in some way. So that's kind of left you maybe confused or with options about how to do something, how to ba go about doing something. A um, lot of chemistry, a lot of attraction there with that lover's card there, matching the lovers there. And love as well with the ace. You know, acknowledgement that there's love there, wanting to build something or establish something with this person, but there's frustration, you're frustrated. Could be towards yourself as well. That frustration, I feel, I feel like for a lot of you, that's going towards yourself. That's more about being frustrated with self. You know, so, you know, the thing is, it's like, okay, well, you are, how do I put that? You, something's holding you back as much as there is this, I mean, you have, there is this seven of pentacles. So on some level, you feel like you've, you've done some work or put in some work, um, but it's just not turned out the way you'd like it. So the, the challenge really is, is, is this person, it's like they're on the verge of moving, letting this go, letting this, you know, go uh, with the intention of moving towards their happiness. We've got the nine of cups there. Like I said, thinking about what is more in, in alignment with, with what it is that they want, what it is that, that is best for them and having, you know, having the, the, the want to start laying that foundation effectively moving in a new direction with something that is that they feel is more aligned with what it is that they want because there's no movement there there's no movement there's no movement however we'll see where this moves to um so link is in the description bar below guys or in the comment section click on that and we will finish this reading in a part two see you guys in a bit